Uh, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope that you've had a good day. I hope your mind's in a good place. I hope you're grounded at this time. If you are new, my name is Dajni, and I will be reading you today. There was something very heavily in the in the 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 energy for y'all as of hidden things, hidden gifts, and seeking right now your manifestations. What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that you have your eyes on? I'm also hearing that nothing is set in stone. So keep your eyes on the prize. Nothing is set in stone. Keep your eyes on the prize. There was a lot of the energy about finances and money and security that is also coming up in this reading. So I don't know if you are in between jobs right now or you're looking for something that is going to provide more stability, more value, more bang for your buck. You rule the seventh house in astrology, Libra, which is also about business partners, relationships, marriage, truth, and contracts. There's something about contracts coming up in your reading today. Contracts with money, contracts with hidden gifts, contracts with the unseen and your spiritual path. So as of saying that, I embrace <laughs> spirit to bring in a good message of hope for us. Thank you so much. That didn't go to plan. One more. This is a new deck, by the way, so it is, it needs to be broken a little bit. Maybe that's something for you, breaking you in. Something's new, like this deck, and it's almost like it needs, something needs to be broken in. Something needs to be, I don't know, right when I said that, I'm hearing a book. You don't know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Uh, my teacher always said you must read the first 50 pages of a book before you can say you want to continue reading it or not. So there's something about a preview. You're going to see a preview. A preview of what's to come. Of what you're asking for. Preview of your manifestations. Thank you so much, Spirit. And the first card is Temperance. Temperance is a card of patience, virtue, divine timing. It's worth the wait. Worth the wait. And temperance to me is not always about the destination, but it's about the journey. And something's about a journey. And as I say that, I pull... The Three of Candles, which is a card really much of waiting for your ships to come in so you can take off for a journey. Waiting for the right opportunities. Queen of Swords, Queen of Claws. Seven of Crips, which is also Seven of Pentacles. And the moon. And the strength card. Bottom of the deck is the four of cups. Four of castles. Mm -hmm. 
So I do feel just getting into the energy for your reading today, there is a lot going on. It's a lot of high, low, high, low. So we're going to look into your past energy, which is the moon. The moon is a card of divine feminine dreams, intuition. It's also a card of the depths of the ocean. It's a card of change, seeing the truth, enlightenment. I'm not the same as I once was, is what I'm hearing. And with the werewolf being on the card with the full moon, the werewolf is about change. The werewolf is about shape-shifting. Maybe it's about the deep inner emotions are going to come out and that scares you. The deep inner emotions scares you. How do you feel about this? Three of candles. You're ready to try something new. You're ready to pack your bags and go on a travel trip. You're ready to find it is, find what is it that is the perfect opportunity at the right time. And I do feel with the moon being in the aspect of the past and how you feel about it, you're really wanting to move past the fears that everything is going to be stationary, that everything's going to stay the same. That nothing ever new is going to come about. And that's something that you eventually will have to get over. Coming into the temperance card, which is current energy. I'm hearing the juice is ripe. The juice is ripe. So something that you are setting your gaze upon is shining. Something of what you're setting your eyes on, whether if this is your time, your energy, your essence, your gifts, your dreams. It's going to shine. You will shine. You're destined for success. You're destined for everything. And as I see the man in the card, I do see a lot of emotion in his eyes. I see a lot of emotion, almost as if, you know what? He feels alone in the world, or you don't feel seen. You don't feel heard from spirit. So he sticks to the only thing that he knows. The comfort and the material, the comfort in the now. But he knows spiritually everything's going to work out just fine. I'm hearing that song, Bittersweet Symphony. I don't know why. Maybe that's going to be a synchronicity for some of y'all. In the current energy, there is a Queen of Claws, which is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is a card. It's a card of protection. It's a card of duality. It's a card of choices, but it's a card of saying, I will fight for it. I will fight for myself. I will fight for the ones that I love. I will fight for my sanity. I will fight for my dreams. It's a card of truth and justice and duality. As she is a divine feminine being, but she has to make divine masculine choices. Although she doesn't want to. 
but she has to. So there's something that you don't want to do, but you have to do. Something that, you know what, you, it, in some aspect, we all have to play the villain in someone else's story. In some aspect, we all have to be a bad guy. Even if it means just protecting the ones that we love in ourselves, in our heart. I feel like you're being pulled in between two places. The past and the present. Maybe some of y'all will relate to that Patreon video that I just put out. The past and the future. But I do feel. Because of the in energy. You see her grip on it. She's holding the sword with both hands. Which says that she's making sharp precisions. She's shooting to score. She knows what she's doing. She's stable. She's firm. And that's the energy of what is in your current field. You're stable. You're firm. And you're just waiting for the right things. Maybe you're waiting on a response from somebody from the past that you had to make a decision on. Maybe you had to stand up for yourself and say, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm not going to put up with it. Enough's enough. I'm tired of always not knowing if I'm getting Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Am I getting the human or am I getting the werewolf? There was an ultimatum here for some of y'all. So, like that's what I'm feeling an ultimatum now going into the future as the past the present and the future we have the seven of crypts which is a card of second chances second opportunities it's a card that your dreams can come out you just gotta try you just got to dream a new dream sometimes. It might look scary. It might seem very mysterious and spooky. But inside each one of these is something that you want. I'm hearing traveled by destiny. Traveled by destiny. It's almost as if somebody is making their way to you. I'm also hearing cleansing your soul. Cleansing your energy field. Maybe you're cleansing. Washing away the sorrow of the past so you can start again. For some of y'all, whatever you was working on. It wasn't the best that you wanted it to be. The dream of buried treasure. You have to unearth it. You have to open the door. You have to go dig for it. Dig inside yourself. Find what truly is here for you. That's what the advice that spirit is giving. Unearth it. Unlock it. Seek the wisdom in the past of the past dreams. Outcome, strength. I feel very contemplative about this card Hand in the pocket. Maybe there's something in your pocket that's going to help you. Maybe it's a good luck charm. A lucky coin. A lucky medallion. If you see the bookshelf in the back, it's like a library. The strength card can really be talking about overcoming challenges. Facing adversity. Winning on things. Standing on top of your game. 
But when I see him, I I think to myself, hmm, look what we have here. I don't know why, but that's what spirit is showing me. Look what we have here. And it's almost as if you're like, wow, I didn't expect that. Wow, I didn't expect this to happen. But you look very, I'm looking at the dressings that he's wearing, like the clothes. Very well established. Very well off, standing on top of the game. Very business minded and focused. Like, look at the vision that he has. He looks focused. Standing tall. On the bottom of the deck is something that you're really focused on. The Four of Castles, which is the Four of Cups. And when I think about the Four of Cups, I'm thinking of reminiscing. I wonder what it's like over there. I wonder how they're doing. I wonder if they're ever coming back. I wonder if I made the right decision. And there's something in your mind that you won't. Maybe it's a new home. Maybe it's something about um, a stable environment. And that is coming into fruition based on the Two of Castles, which is the Two of Cups. Which is a lover, a companion, a friend... Someone who's going to have your back. Someone who is stable. Somebody who has a healing quality about them that helps open you up a little bit more into this new beginning. Followed by, kid you not, the lovers. So I do feel like leaving an environment from the past and focusing on transitioning from one stage of your life to the next is going to bring in exactly what you're seeking. Exactly what you are wanting. A healing companion, unity, a trusted confidant, somebody who's always going to have your back, someone who's always going to be excited to text you back, somebody who is always going to be ready to respond, ready to call to action. Ready to help you. And that is a truth in here. That is a big truth. But sometimes it takes a little bit of time for these beautiful things to come in. Because you have to dream it. And manifest it. And put, it, put the action in. Dream it. Manifest it and put the action in. I'm going to pull a card about to see how does this person feel about you. I'm going to do a past person if there's somebody in the collective who is in a past energy. And then I'm going to do the current person or the future. So how do they feel about you in the past energy? Ten of Swords or Ten of Claws, which is the Ten of Swords. Somebody feels hurt, broken, lost. Somebody who doesn't know what to do. Somebody who is left in the wolf mode. Somebody who is left to reflect on their feelings. Somebody who don't know what to do. Their hands are tied. They're crossed. It's almost as if they didn't want to let something go, but they had to. Or you made that decision with that Queen of Swords. And for a current person or the future person coming in, how do they feel about you? The Two of Candles, which is the Two of Wands. And this is a card of optimism. This is a card of, you know, I see you, you see me. It's also a card of travel and whimsical energy that nothing is set in stone. Two lanterns that light the path. 
to see one another as equals. The similar spark and light within each other. Insane chemistry. Maybe that's for some of y'all. So we're going to go into a few oracle messages. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you. And if you are still listening to your reading, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to join the Patreon, I have early access YouTube videos there. And I also have pick a card readings there. And if you want to book a private reading, check out the description box below. Um, I'm a very spiritual reader when I do readings. Very spiritual. It's just my take on things. It's how I see things. And I kid you not, these were the two cards that came out. Jupiter and Venus. Jupiter is heavily associated with Sagittarius energy and Venus is heavily associated with Libra and Leo energy. Jupiter is the blessings planet and it's basically how blessings come into your life. Are you naturally gifted? Are you naturally lucky? This is a beautiful card for a new beginning. It's a beautiful card for moving forward and seeing the beauty and through the pain. I'm going to read a few of the, the quotation uh, words. Growth, success, fulfillment, travel, chance. Venus is the card of love, also heavily associated with Aphrodite. It's love, relationships, style, and attraction. There is something new that you're bringing to the table. There's something new. It's a filled with hope and joy. And when I see that Venus card, I think of Valentine's Day. So February could be very important. It doesn't have to be the 14th, although Spirit did give me a specific day just now in February. The 7th. The 7th or the 17th. And then we have cancer, home, family. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I feel very emotional. It's like everything you ever wanted. Success, love, in a home. Success, love, in a home. Maybe you're finding home. And I've told a lot of my readers before... Home is not a place, but it is a word that you put on a place or a person. Home is where the heart is. And that word home can fit anywhere to where you feel like it belongs. Where you belong. Spirit says you have a place. You have a place. You have a place where you deserve to be. Where you deserve to thrive. Where you deserve to live in peace and harmony. A win-win outcome is in forecast. Full moon in Libra. And show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. And conclusions are within reach. Bottom of the deck. Expect powerful change. Somebody's eyes could be very beautiful. Or you're very attracted to someone's eyes. Or somebody's eyes is very attracted to yours. The animal message for y'all today is the polar bear for a mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within.
We got Family Issues, Hidden Gifts, Higher Self, Wow. Thank you, Spirit. We got music. Inner child. Loyalty. Strength. And survival. There's a lot going on here. So if you resonated with any of those key keywords, um... This is your reading. And the card that Spirit chose is number 29. It's called Beatrice of the Sacred Rapture. The card number is 29. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11, 11 could be a significant number in your life. Somebody could be Aquarius. 11th house in astrology is Aquarius. But I'm going to read it. Let your true self be seen. Search for deeper spiritual purpose and opportunities for healing beneath conflict and suffering. If you have been in pain, this oracle brings a message of a joyful breakthrough. Your soul is growing stronger and more able to have faith and wisdom than in judgment or doubt. Commit to your spiritual path and know that you are making progress. Even if things seem more difficult for a time, Know that any such difficulty is part of your healing and know that you will be successfully or you will successfully move through it and trust yourself. You are fully seen, loved, and recognized for who you truly are. To be held. Courage to grow guidance to the truth that spirit is bringing you nourish your heart and look for the light beneath all phenomena you know that peace and love that is within all beings always compassion and strength and if you resonated with this reading today please subscribe and join the tribe I love y'all and thank you for being patient with me as I unload videos. If you want to have early access to YouTube videos or if you want to check out the pick of cards and everything like that, check out Patreon. Um, it's The link is in the description box below. If you want to book a, uh, a private YouTube video that I channel your energy and I create a YouTube video but it's on private, no one else can see it other than you, check out the link in the description box below. Check out TikTok and everything else. There's so many ways to support our collective. And thank you, as always. I love y'all. Bye.